How's it going guys? This is God Cannon back once again with a little video on Preda Vendetta Rising for the PSVR. And today we're going to be going over runes. What are they? What do they do? How do you get more? Everything. But first, before we get started on that, just want to share some great news regarding the patch that just went live last night. Um, as soon as we heard about it, we all jumped in and started testing it out. And it seems they fixed a number of bugs and made some overall optimization improvements. Um, the big ones being the sound bug, that's now gone. And then there were certain parts in the game that when you would try to do something, the game would freeze. Those are now gone. The game no longer freezes at those points. And then the last thing looks like they've <clears throat> updated the resolution and the detail of the game just looks slightly better. Um, so that's really great stuff. Thank you, Ilion. I did write them again today regarding some further bugs that need to be addressed and just overall feedback that the community has uh, gathered and sent it to them. So hopefully hear back soon and we'll let you guys know as soon as that happens. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on runes. What are runes? Basically, um, you have this skill tree that you unlock and as you do quests you get these skill points right here up in the top 0 out of 27 and as you go through the, the main storylines uh, you get one of these skill points you get to dump it into this tree and each one of these has a skill that's associated with it this being your square attack this being your triangle attack this being your circle attack and as you go down the, the tree there's more and more different attributes that can be added on to each skill to make them do more damage to increase different skills this one is attack this one is evasion um, and you just go all the way down till you hit the end now where the runes come into play is that once you get them you can if you get the one that's associated with the skill item that you have on the tree you can apply them to it see down here once you have it it says runes you can hit square I've got the juggernaut rune I'm gonna apply it well that just took it off but now I'm gonna apply it and <clears throat> there are different levels to the different runes that you have and we'll go over that in just a second but that's basically how it works some of them just increase the effectiveness of it um, and as you can see like this one is originally five out of five runes uh, five out of five skill points but when you add the runes to it it makes it eight out of five so it just causes more damage uh, for this one specifically and um, it just goes on and on there's different ones that have different perks and you know it just basically increases the effectiveness of each skill so now let's go take a look at the runes there's two different other places uh, you can check them out the place that you buy them is gonna be at the merchant shop right over here and the way that you buy them is similar similar to how you would get the equipment and the pet um, you would basically use dark diamonds to buy these meaning that you would r do the raid buy the uh, the epic gear from the raid and then sell it for the dark diamonds uh, and then you can use those dark diamonds to buy this bundle and uh, basically there's three this is your square one this is this is runes for the square this is runes for the triangle this is runes for the circle um, and then you can also if you have the extra diamonds it's pretty awesome just to go ahead and go for the bundle but if you don't have enough diamonds or don't want to spend them all no problem you can roll for a chance to get a nice one uh, just a single one alone um, I've done one each for the bundle and I've done like a few of each for the uh, single ones so after you get the runes and pay for them uh, it'll show you what you have and then you can come over to Paul and it gives you different options to use with the runes so these are all the runes that I currently have each color class is uh, for each um, attack that you have and you notice that they all have levels and the reason for that is each rune does have a level and you can actually combine them if they're the same room and the same level you can combine them 
it does cost a lot of gold um, but again if you watch the other video you can sell dark diamonds for gold and make that up I've got plenty right now um, I'm not gonna upgrade this one at the moment because I need it uh, don't need it at this time but you can basically can combine these two level twos spend the gold on them and then you'll get a level three rune out of it which then you can go back and apply to the skill tree like I was showing earlier and that will add three skill points to that so while you're limited for skill points um, you can add a little extra by using the runes and it's important to note that each in order to be able to add a rune to a skill you have to at least have one skill point in that uh, skill so the other option you have is dismantling a rune and basically if you have anything equipped like here it's not gonna let you do it so if you want to do one of these you have to unequip it but then any rune that you don't absolutely need uh, I'm going to keep the majority of mine because eventually I might have some that I switch around. I've been messing around with my skill tree a lot lately and trying to just tinker with it. So I don't want to get rid of anything unless I'm absolutely sure that I'm not going to use it. So when you have ones that you know you're not going to use, you can add them here and then you can press square to dismantle them. Um, I'll do one for fun just because just so you can see what it looks like. So I'll choose this one and hit square. And it says here it's going to give me 800 of this rune powder, which I'm about to show you what the rune powder does. So let's go ahead and dismantle this. Yes. And it's got a little great animation here. It looks awesome. Um, so right here, the game would actually freeze before, and you'd have to exit and go back in. Not anymore. Ever since the update came out last night, now I'm back at the menu, no problemo. Great stuff. So the rune powder, what you can use for that, is if you don't want to buy the bundle or don't want to roll for one, or if you see a specific rune that you want, you can come right here, and it's got runes available. And it shows you what they are, what level they are, how much uh, rune dust they cost, and basically you can break down all the ones that you don't want but again be very careful you want to only get rid of stuff that you don't need because um, you don't want to just get rid of those because they're expensive <clears throat> and not exactly easy to get back so around here it's got the different runes and you can I've got enough to buy some but I'm just kinda holding off for now um, I eventually there is like the level fives but I'm debating whether or not to combine or just break down enough runes to eventually be able to get a level 5. <clears throat> if you don't like anything that you see on here, there is the option, just like all the rest of the uh, raid gear and raid merchant items, you can hit square and do a refresh, and it'll give you new items. And you can do this as many times as you want, but every time you do, now, so it's got 5 hours to go before the refresh is free. Um, Right now, it's going to cost 100 gold to do a refresh, and then after I do it again, it's going to be 300, and then 600, and then 900. I would recommend never going past 900. That's what I was advised, and I like that. It, it works great. Um, so yeah, that is the runes that you can purchase. I will come back here and look through here to see if there's anything I like. If there isn't, I can just refresh it again, either spend the 100 or just wait to see it refresh. And so now <clears throat> we'll go over real quick about like the different skills that I chose to go with. So that, this is where you purchase runes. Over here by Paul is where you dismantle or combine for a stronger rune. And then we'll go take one last quick look at what I have and what I decided to build. Because I've tinkered around with it and I found a better way for the skill tree that I like. So, as I said in my previous video, the warrior is really good defensively. Um, the original setup I had, well, I did change it a little bit actually, but the original set I, setup I had was going for the charge attack. I was being very defensive about it. The charge attack with the healing um, and then increasing the health. 
there is actually a, a great note about the health. So we discovered last night that whenever you do a fatality, as you may already know, whenever you do a uh, finishing move, I should say, with the R1, when a character, when an enemy's health is low, it will give you some health. What we noticed recently is that when you upgrade your health with the belt or with through the skill tree, the more health you have, the more health you get back from whenever you do the finishing move. So a great way to um, <clears throat> kind of avoid using potions is maybe sometimes I've started kind of focusing more on health than defense because I love getting that return back after doing the finishing move. Now, originally, like I said, I am the warrior class and I was going charge and defensive. That um, was causing me trouble because I was able to survive a lot. I was able to go through a lot of levels, but I wasn't causing enough damage. And the warrior is pretty much the weakest of the three when it comes to causing damage. So I retooled my skill tree here. Uh, thanks to advice from Ninja and a couple other guys. Thank you guys. Um, I took everything off the charge and I started going for this vortex move which now causes like lots of dot damage and it'll inflict damage even after I press it for five seconds and that's been helping a ton as well as the grand slam which is crucial this is probably one of the most important ones because it has this right here so I did get a level 2 rune that I've got on it uh, on Grand Slam, which um, just makes it stronger in general. And then I've got this anticoagulate rune, and uh, what anticoagulate the skill does is that it lowers the defense of all enemies affected by Grand Slam by 20%. So now I have a great method of just coming into the uh, arena, hitting them with the Grand Slam to immediately lower their defense by 20%. And then using this vortex move, which now causes more damage, and it just absolutely wrecks everything. It's so great and has helped so much. Because when I was focusing on all defense stuff, it really just wasn't helping me put enemies away quicker. So that has helped a ton. Um, and uh, I highly recommend, if you're the warrior, to do something similar. Now, as for the mage and the assassin... I can't really provide much information as of right now. Uh, you know, maybe leave a comment. One of the other guys can, can answer it for you or I can ask them and, and get back to you. But as of right now, I really just have uh, some best info for the warrior class because that's what I'm playing as. Well, um... That's pretty much it for today's video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and taking a look. And I hope, uh, you know, you finally found some information that you wanted on the runes. Because I know for sure that was one of the things at first that I was... I had no idea what they were or what a, like how to use them or anything. So after figuring that out recently, I figured, hey, I need to get this up. Because I'm sure there's people in the same boat. But um, yeah, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more tips and videos coming soon. I really appreciate everyone that's been following so far, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. If there's something specifically that you uh, have a question about, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'll be happy to answer it whenever I get a chance. And uh, that's about it. You guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.